Howdy guys, and welcome back to Warframe. I'm doing another Warframe review on Nova. I don't really have, a, you know, a thing for this frame, so we'll just go with, um... Um, the triggered frame. How about that? Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, so, yeah. This, those are all of her abilities, which I will demonstrate here in just a second. Um... Do -do 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 -do. This is what I am using for my Pacific build. Her ultimate. You do not need power range for her ult at all. You only need duration. So that's just a little interesting fact that I might have, you know, that I should point out. Yeah, excuse me. And, um, nice little look going with the, honestly, I don't know what this is, the primed the Orkin look, which is um, blue, blacks, and whites, along with golds, but she already has gold on her. And then regular Nova. This is what she naturally looks like. And these are her, all of her different helmets. Her natural regular Nova helmet. This one, this one, and this one. Which I personally, if I had to choose between one of these for fashion frame, i definitely probably go with this one because I like the, the two little ponytail one, or this one. Even though it looks weird. You know. That's everything. She only has one skin, and that's her mortal skin. Which, you know what? Actually doesn't look half bad on, uh, regular... On, on the... You know, that. Because it just basically turns her back into what she usually looks like, which is a lot of white. So, back to this. So, yeah. We are going to go show off her, you know... Her abilities. So, where do we want to go? Huh, I should have thought about this. Uh, we'll go to Earth. I know that it's, it's a low-level mission, but I don't really have any high-level. Actually, you know what? We're going to the Void. Alright. Defense? No. Extermination? Yes. I can edit out these screens, but it, honestly, that would just be overkill. If I did that, I mean, I probably should do that more so I get a little bit more used to the way PlayStation edits things. Because I can't properly edit yet. Don't, you know, have a thing. Alright, so, first of all, to make sure we have enough, I'm going to place uh, three of these. That's going to get a nice look of the frame. I think she looks fabulous with Carrier and War up in here. What do you guys think? Does she look fabulous? I think she looks fabulous. Okay. Sadly, I do... Oh, it zooms in. Oh, that's weird. I do not know how to deactivate this weather. There it goes. So we have enough energy. So for her first ability, the which I believe is called Null Star, there is these little orbiting balls around me, which, and when I get in proximity of something, they will target that thing. So this corrupted butcher over here, see? Boop, 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 which apparently costs last damage. Oh god, that's a null fire. Eh, 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 eh. Hold on, this is Oral Crames on professional reviews. Hold on. Uh, let me just deal with him. Alright. Come on. Is it cool? Alright, so now that we're behind a... Never mind. I thought we were behind cover. Back at you a little bit. Alright, so before we get into get ourselves into a bigger mess, her second ability, which is Antimatter Drop, I believe. So I'm basically gonna pop this out, shoot it, and then run away. And see? I killed everything except for you. Yeah. Um, her, for, her third ability is more of a um, an escape. So say I'm, I'm being chased and I have like no health, I can just pop that and now I'm over here. It's actually useful, but in this situation I got myself in, not useful. Try to get rid of you. And then her ultimate, which is Molecular Prime. Which sends out this shockwave that increases, decreases the enemy's armor. I think also raises the amount of damage you do. It slows them to a slug, and you know, it does some other things. It's the most 
I want to say it's one of the most useful abilities because on its effects and how devastating it could be like against affected. Ooh, against affected. That's that's what I should uh, actually did was make a crew, not a blah, blah, blah. English. I can't think right now. A uh, corrupted derelict key before doing this and. Then it would have gone a lot better. This is why these are called Warframe's unprofessional reviews. By a person that does not know how to professionally do Warframe. My war is not taking you out as fast as I like to. My war is not that strong either. So yeah, basically I use it to go around spamming the Monocular Prime and running around with either my melee weapon, which I really should have brought my Nikana. And yeah. Um, and her passive is when she gets knocked down, I believe it triggers a thing that causes other enemies in your radius to get knocked down, which is... You know, it's, it's actually pretty nice, especially if you're surrounded. And walk into this room. Get rid of Null Fireball, because those things are irritating. There we go. The, I, also, it causes enemies to explode, if that wasn't obvious. I did not mean to actually do that one. And anything in that general area will explode and deal damage to their friends which is kind of funny in my opinion they thought they had the brilliant plan of huddling up in one area and stuff like that no no not at all it's the worst idea with nova around you do that you're dead number one fact right there I really should have did it there, like this would have gone uh, much smoother. Much, much, much smoother. And, yeah. Yeah. So, really, it's just how you see fit to use her abilities. You can either use them in an aggressive way, you could use them for a solo way, which I personally just. I use them in any possible way I can. You are irradiated. I don't know why. And yeah, but she's high in crowd control as well. So you can definitely control an area, which is why I'm saying I, I should have did a corrupted derelict instead of a regular Oricon Tower. Since, you know, or the Oricon Towers have been drastically brought down from their original standpoint of, hey, I'm a tower in the middle of the void to, hey, I'm a tower in the middle of void. I'm just useless. Since I haven't really found any good use to come into the void anymore from ever since the update, since you added the new void relic mechanic and stuff like that. If there's good use, I would love to know. Hey, okay. But basically, I just like spamming that. It helps a lot and all the time. But seriously, I made all the mistakes on uh, doing this here. Honestly, probably not even going to be able to finish the mission within uh, 15 minutes. Since, well, these Orican can be quite stubborn sometimes. So, yeah. But that's, you know, that's actually basically it for Nova. She's a fun frame, and of course I do recommend that you get her because, well, unless you don't really like not always an action combat type of stage of frame, more like uh, Excalibur or Mesa, which surprise, surprise, I'm doing a review on next. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really else to say. I mean, I think I showed off everything that I could have shown off. Yeah, I think I did. Also, you could throw out multiple of these. And they will explode randomly, I believe, is how that works. Oh. Oh. And, but yeah, they'll explode randomly. One of them will explode randomly, and then the other one will explode when it makes contact with something. So you could just pop, like, a bunch of these around, and then shoot them. Oh. I, well, I wish I knew that they, do, that, they did that. <laughs> that would have been so much more that would make this ability so much more useful if I knew about it. So uh well, hello. What are you doing? No. Eh. Over there. Get him. Get him. 
Come on. You got this. You got this, Pac-Man. Come on. Aw. I don't know why I called you Pac-Man. Anyways, guys. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my ship. Because this is going to take way too long. Again, Warframe's unprofessional reviews. Because mine are exponentially unprofessional. And, well, yeah, that was Nova Prime in action. Our abilities are extremely interesting. I'll give you one more overhead look of everything. So, you can increase the explosive damage with um, strength, the effectiveness of the duration. I'm honestly not sure. Probably duration. Range is range, and then power duration, which is very important for this ability. Power range meters, which is 44, which actually I don't really know what that is. I think that's the rate it moves, and then slow is 60%. So, the, they have their movement speed reduced by 60%. So, yeah. I mainly only use Monocular Prime and Wormhole, mainly because you can get into so many glitches with Wormhole. If you have all the stuff on it, and I love glitches, and yeah. Anyways, otherwise than that, then I don't think there's really much else I can say, but yeah. That was Nova, specifically Nova Prime. So you can find her in... I should have pulled up the thing so I could tell you what towers she drops at. But sadly, I don't think I have enough time to go do that. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one, in the next Unprofessional Warframe review. Bye-bye.